Hello. Just before ending the value box project, we wanted to do a little sideline uh, testing uh, to try to do a recipe for dogs and cats based on black soldier fly larva. The recipe is in the description. We wanted to uh, calculate, create a recipe, and also test it on some cats and dogs just to see a first reaction. So uh, there's a larva in it, there is egg, or mm -hmm. e eggs, and there is uh, pumpkin seeds and iodized salt, uh, taurine, very important specifically for the cats, also sweet potato also for the cats. Um, here's uh, uh, spinach, carrots, and eggs. Two, five. So basically Ooh, the spinach what? and the carrots are really for different vitamins and minerals and and especially fiber. We didn't put any cereal um, grains in the recipe because we don't but need I'm it. I'm sure you can do it a bit then. Um, actually, and so we have more fiber. This is what she looks like. <laughs> the sweet potato is really for the vitamin A. You could replace it with carrots for the dogs. It's really the cats that need more can vitamin A. That? Very small dose of uh, uh, iodized salt compared to the volume, but that's for the iodine. And black soldier fly larvae that have been frozen. These specifically are pre-migration ones that we got. Okay. I put all that in a pressure cooker with so just a like bit of water at the here. bottom so that it wouldn't burn and it would steam the rest at the top. After a good, uh, you know, S steaming, uh, this is the result when it's cooked. We already let the pressure out. It smells like chips. Kind of. Have a nice close up. Uh, there was a bit too much water, so I drained it. This is the first test. Uh, added the eggs. Can I smash it like this? Yep. Ugh. Of course, uh, I think. Yeah, here in Europe, uh, there's the, all these uh, uh, chickens are vaccinated against salmonella anyway. Uh, so I added them raw in here, but put the boiling uh, stuff on it. Okay. Can I have one? The, the egg is one? really for uh, B12, methionine, linoleic acid, vitamin D, choline, and phos phosphorus. Um, here I added... Synthetic taurine for dogs, you, you okay. could skip it even though it's, it yeah. could be beneficial for them, but not necessary like cats. This first recipe is with, is chunky. The uh, pumpkin seeds are, are great uh, also for uh, general gut health. Uh, also also for, for dogs, it's excellent. There's phosphorus, methionine, arginine. The, the, get roasted seeds or sprouted seeds so that uh, the the phosphorus is released from the phyt phytic acid. Here, what you're seeing is just a sideline thing that I ended up not using. I read that you could also use the eggshells if you dry them and then grind them fi finely. You could get uh, you could use the calcium. But in the recipe, the dose of calcium was enough, so I didn't end up using it. Small test also where I ovened a bit of it to make the consistency more dry. Um, it's a test that I didn't end up... We, we tested it on some cats, that this little detail is not very important because I didn't end up using it. We gave a page with the recipe, the reason for the choice of the different ingredients, and also all the calculations uh, of the nutriment, the nutrients, and the comparative with the, the needs of cats and dogs, uh, the, the, based on various databases. The information can be uh, down below in the description also. And here's some citizens that have accepted to to try it.
Je sais, ça a l'air vraiment bizarre, mais si c'est trop dégueu, c'est analytique en fait. Et la comparaison avec les besoins des chats et les besoins des chiens. Et donc il y a moyen vraiment de comparer. Et donc si tu peux filmer, c'est juste Quand ça. Quand tu manges. Ouais, pour voir. Est-ce donc... que je filme aussi s'il vomisse ou... Ouais, ouais, ouais. Comment ça Oui, 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 oui. Nous, nous n'importe quoi. Euh... Ça va. Ça euh, quel je... feedback. Euh... J'espère ça tantôt. Aussi. Déjà. Trop bien, je te filme ça. Ah, Film. Oui. Alors, oups, un petit commentaire. Je suis sûre qu'en vrai, je me barre, ils vont en bouffer. C'est ça ou rien les gars. Ce soir, euh, c'est ouais, mais t'as beau me faire des câlins, hein, tu, euh, ça, ça change rien. les nutriments que, que tu as donné c'est assez riche donc euh, j'ai vu que tu avais même fait euh, l'oméga 3 et tout dedans donc je pense que ça peut être complet parce que le pire c'est qu'ils en ont déjà bouffé ils sont lâchés sur le sachet de l'arbre séché que tu m'avais déjà donné et euh, ils me l'ont défoncé le lendemain je l'avais pas rangé oh, oh, oh. Par contre, pour les hérissons, je trouve que au niveau, au niveau du sel, il y a un peu trop euh, au niveau de la dose. On est, on est souvent sur, enfin, euh, pour les croquettes que je lui donne, on est sur du 0,7 mg. Donc, ça va vraiment être euh, exceptionnel pour lui, à côté de son alimentation euh, insectivore. Mais ça a l'air de lui plaire. Après, il faudra voir au niveau de ses selles et, euh, et je pense que ça pourrait donner quelque chose. Ok, c'est parti pour le test. La testeuse, Chiara, 10 ans. Petite portion pour voir ce qu'elle en pense. Et on va mettre ça. Voilà.
Bah alors chérie, c'est pour manger. Bah oui. Oui. Bon. Pas terrible apparemment. Alors ma puce, on va essayer. Faut tenter. Bah oui. Regarde. Regarde. Ça c'est à manger. Bah écoute. Désolée pour la qualité. Je me rapproche pas trop parce que sinon, si on dérange madame pendant qu'elle mange, elle ne mange plus. Mais clairement, par rapport à avant... Hein. Bon, j'ai l'impression qu'en fait, elle a que léché et mangé le reste, mais elle a pas mangé les larves. Il n'y a plus rien à part des larves. Hmm. Bon, on va voir si elle termine. Bah non, mange pas en dehors de ta gamelle, patate. On va mettre des larves partout, c'est mes colocs qui vont être contents. Bon, je te tiens au courant. Tu restes So we had a cat who was avoiding eating the larva and we have a dog here where we can see the seeds and the larva were not digested. So you could see them completely undigested coming out on the other end so so of course we redid a quick experiment with the same recipe but blended this one was much easier to manage because uh, it was a smaller quantity so I did it all in the in the pressure cooker This this smelt quite good. It was actually like a nut um, a nut paste. Ici, la pâté, elle donne beaucoup mieux parce qu'elle est passée au blender. C'est comme une espèce de purée d'épinards, mais un peu grise. So yeah, it actually it actually smells nice. Alors, on va donner à manger à cette petite qui a très très faim, qui réclame beaucoup. On a mis un petit peu de préparation ici. Regardez-moi ça, cette excitation. Hop, c'est parti pour le test. Moi, bon, c'est concluant. Hein. Ah, tu vas me dire, la première préparation, elle en voulait pas au début. Mais là.
T'as le coup, tu restes. Vas-y. Ah, mais ouais, mais c'est bon, en fait. Ouais, bah c'est pour ça. C'est vrai, tu m'as fait ça. So, here we've got different results. Um... Here. How about this one? This one? So I prepared a few of the two different types. Uh, those ones are post-migration and the other one, so that's the darker one, post-migration. This one is pre-migration and uh, we'll distribute those around and see how that goes.